then Isaac responds, Air hey, Chief, if I don't have money, I don't have it. It won't rain from the sky. Giving me a chance to do what? To make magic? Yeah, the same magic that you guys perform when you guys are posting these blue screens. Emotional damage! Okay, so as you guys have judged by the title, we are talking about Isaac Mamorabella today. And for those of you guys who are new, you guys can just click this link above here somewhere that will link you to the previous video. But if you're not going to do that, then here's a quick update. Last time we spoke about Isaac Mamorabella that hosted a risk-free Nasdaq trading camp and you had to have quite a little bit of money to join this. But that camp was a disaster. Now, upon the camp being a disaster he agreed to pay everyone back that joined the camp now to my knowledge there's eight people that he had to pay back and when you count all of their money together according to the information that i got he owed them in total around about 70,000 rand in today's exchange rate now that is quite a lot of money and the sad thing is that the moment that these guys got into a group with him and he told them straight out listen i don't have money i cannot pay you guys this huge amount once off these people knew that they were screwed and this is one of the dangers that i would like to bring across to you guys it doesn't matter how a mentor tries to paint a course that he is doing or a seminar that he is doing or a trading camp that he is doing it doesn't matter how much he advertises it as a risk free there is always risks involved now as far as my knowledge stretches there is people that he is still owing up to one thousand dollars and you guys can go and revert that to rent to see how much that actually is so my contact within this group of isaac sent me this chat of him and someone else right so this chat reads with this client of his is telling him hey chief you haven't made any refund payments in two months what's going on so then he replies how i'm waiting for your attorney most you said you are not happy with my arrangements and then this person re responds by saying we have been giving you chances for over a year now fine bro if this is the route you taking fair enough then isaac responds hey chief if i don't have money i don't have it it won't rain from the sky giving me a chance to do what to make magic yeah the same magic that you guys perform when you guys are posting these blue screens if you don't understand that you cannot get money that I don't have, then I have nothing else to say to you. I'll wait for your attorneys. It's simple. You guys think you are the only ones allowed to struggle financially? Times are tough for everyone except that. This person then responds to Isaac. I bro, keep the same energy. And then Isaac responds, sure, I'll retaliate accordingly. Now, this is what I want you guys to see here. This man is busy showing his client that I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about your money. Do what you need to do. Get your lawyers involved. I'll wait for them. And this is the dangers of getting involved with people like this. This is the dangers of getting involved with Forex mentors. That's very, very disingenuous. Because at the end of the day, they are not there to develop you. They are only there to develop their bank accounts. And I'll put my two front teeth on that. Now, like I said, he did agree to pay this money back. And from where I'm sitting, I feel like this agreement is a very, very lenient agreement. And I don't really understand this because this is a guy that drove gold cars, that wrapped his cars in gold wrapping before. And as far as I am concerned, you're going to take out quite a pretty penny to have your car wrapped 
and gold at that but anyway let's get to the payment plan so like i said he agreed to pay these people off and they agreed to what he said so he was going to pay these people 300 rand per month now like i said that is eight people and if you times 300 by eight you get 2400 now he was supposed to pay 2400 for 29 months for the next 29 months after agreeing to him taking responsibility and accountability for what has happened at the camp he has only made one payment so far so out of the 70,000 in total that he has to pay these people back he only made a payment of 2400 rand once once so that means they still owe 77,600 rand outstanding emotional damage now he made that payment for december so that means january and february is outstanding and that is actually the sad part here you would think that someone that once had his car wrapped gold multiple cars wrapped gold just so that he can stand out can't pay 2400 rand monthly to a group of eight people that he owes money to and another thing that i also got from the person that i spoke to is that this guy's car got repossessed so do you guys see what i am saying when ever i say when i see a scammer or whenever i see someone spending money frivolously and spending his money on nonsense he reminds me of a scammer because people that have worked hard for their money won't just go and spend it on car wrappings. They won't just go and spend it on car notes every month. They won't go and spend it on re, um, renting or leasing um, three to four different cars every month. And I do not know where this money went to that this guy had, but it is it is insane that he now has to pay eight people for 29 months. And if you guys want to understand how long it is, that is two years and five months. That's a very long time. Now, obviously, when it came time for him to take accountability, he didn't even have the backbone to go to the group that he created to tell these people, listen, I couldn't pay in for January, so February I'm gonna make a double payment. And we're in March already, and no payment has come through as far as I know. And this is really super funny because if you guys look at the previous video that I made about him, Shortly before exposing him, he posted a withdrawal slip of 1.3 million rand from Red Pine Capital. You guys can check out that video. It's there. The evidence is there. But now he can't pay out a simple 70,000 rand, a simple 300 rand to eight people for 29 months. I don't understand this, guys. When it comes to concluding the situation, I just want to let you guys know, stay safe from a mentorship and from a client perspective. Do not give your money to anyone and do not jump into mentorship just because you got 10 trades right. It doesn't work like that. You are putting yourself and other people's lives at risk. When it comes to clients, please stop signing up for every good thing that you see. Yes, I understand that these guys might have been influential at one point. Yes, I understand that these are people that made it seem to you like they can change your life. But obviously, your bank is changing their lives and evidently some of them can't keep up the appearance. Now you guys are seeing what the effects is of showing a lifestyle that you actually cannot afford. You end up with a whole lot of excuses and telling people that you are owing money to, that you do not have money, there's no way that you can pay them and you do not care if they report you. Please vet who you sign up with before you sign up with them. And last but not least, if your gut tells you to avoid this person, then do so. Please do so.
That is my conclusion for it. Before I drop off, I would just like to remind you guys that the 12th of March, XM will be in Cape Town. So please use the link in my description to sign up so that you can also book your seat for this event at Century City, I believe. And then also please make sure that your account is validated. You won't get entry if your account is not validated. So that means XM is gonna need proof of address and then proof of identity. So please use the link in my description, get to signing up, get to validating your account, and then book your seat for XM's upcoming seminar. If you came this far and you enjoyed this video, please do smash the like button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Please do leave your comments in the comment section as I'm pretty keen to hear what you guys have to say, seeing that Isaac was once upon a time an inspiration to a whole lot of people. Please do share this around so that people can be aware of the mentorship dangers. And that come that's now from both perspectives. Because when you look at what is happening with Isaac and him not being able to pay the people back, that is a difficult and dangerous position to be in. And when you look at the people that's busy waiting for their money, they also have things to pay. They also have stuff to get out of. And that is also so a very difficult and very time consuming and very hard place to be in. So I'm kind of praying for both sides that a solution will come up and that everyone comes out unscathed out of this. Good luck to Isaac Mamorabella. Um, I hope he raises this money so that he can pay people back and I hope he raises this money legally so that there's no recourse for him on that money. And then I also say good luck to all of the other people who he owes. I hope you guys get your money back. If you're new here, please do smash the subscribe button. You do not want to miss out on future content. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys shortly. Cheers.